one of the topics about Bruce Lee's life that has been the subject of, of considerable uh, discussion over the years has been his back injury, which he received in June of 1970, although he did not see a doctor until uh, September of that same year when he went to see Dr. Lionel Walpin in Century City. I have all of the medical records uh, of that visit and other visits, subsequent visits. Dr. Walpin uh, examined him. Uh, he ran a series of x-rays and uh, essentially found nothing wrong with him. Bruce Lee had initially told uh, Dr. Walpin that his injury occurred from a, from a, uh, a bout of, uh, of sexual intercourse. That's in the records. The doctor wrote that in, his, in the medical records. Uh, it's been reported elsewhere that this happened from a, uh, from a uh, good morning exercise where you hold a, 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 you hold a barbell on your back with weights and you, and you bend over um, and that is supposed to strengthen smaller your back, but that's how it happened. Um, I don't think it really matters, really, but for the record, that's what he told the doctor. Um, he told uh, Bobby Baker, when he, when he wrote to Bobby Baker in, this, uh, in one of those drug letters, he said, and I'll read it, he said uh, uh, that he got a sort of a pinching nerve when pressed. Since it doesn't really hinder me too much, I keep up my endurance work. So Bruce told Bobby Baker that he got it from tons of exercise, and he kind of related it to a pinched nerve, which it, which it may well have been. But um, anyway, Dr. Uh, uh, Walpin uh, uh, prescribed some muscle relaxants in jacuzzi, and apparently it straightened out for a while, and then it returned. And uh, it was around that time in June of, um, of actually December of 70, that would have been a couple of months later, that um, Blake Edwards referred Bruce to Dr. Herbert uh, Tanney, who had a, a practice in Century City. And, and Dr. Tanney was Blake's doctor. He's also my doctor. Dr. Tanney examined Bruce. Uh, he sent him for x-rays to... Uh, a Dr. Silberman, and uh, found that the same thing that Dr. Walpin had concluded, that there was really nothing wrong with him, although uh, Dr. Tanney decided that he would begin injecting uh, Bruce's spine with uh, cortisone. He was doing the same thing with Blake Edwards, who had a, uh, a bad back. He had broken his neck uh, many, many years earlier in a swimming pool, and uh, he dove into a pool that was foggy, and his head hit the other side of the pool and it broke his neck. So Blake had been taking these cortisone shots and, and Dr. Tanny began to inject Bruce's spine in the area that hurt. And apparently that helped. And it does help. I mean, cortisone back then still is. It's a miracle drug. My wife had a frozen shoulder, which is extremely painful. And she lived with it as long as she could. And she, I finally said, you know, you really got to think about getting a cortisone shot in that shoulder. And uh, she couldn't lift her arm above this, and there were times when she just hit her knees with pain. And um, it, would just, it was just awful what she was going through. And uh, she finally agreed to take a cortisone shot. She took a cortisone shot, and within, God, it must have been within 12 hours, her shoulder, she could lift her shoulder. There was, the pain was gone. So there's no question it's a, it's a miracle drug. Um, and it worked for a while. It was back and forth. And then again in March of 1971, uh, Bruce went back to Dr. Walpin, and, uh, who ran another series of x-rays with a Dr. Einstein and came out with the same conclusion that there was nothing wrong with Bruce's back, with his spine, other than a muscle, uh, some kind of a, of a muscle uh, cramping muscle spasm, pinched nerve, whatever it was, but they couldn't see anything in the spine. And this was also, by the way, in 71, this was, this was around that same time that, that Bruce was, uh, went to India with uh, James Coburn, with uh, Jim Coburn, and was photographed doing these aerial flying sidekicks through the air. So uh, eventually his back straightened out, but it surely was never as serious as was reported 
uh, or was depicted in the Universal movie Dragon where viewers saw Bruce in traction in the hospital and uh, he looked like he was um, almost on life support and uh, with all the machines around him and everything and Linda comes in and, and, uh, and uh, the audience is informed that the doctor said that Bruce would never kick again I guess the audience, some people wondered if he'd ever walk again after looking at what they saw in the thing. But somehow, uh, Bruce miraculously healed himself with the power of his mind and gung fu and whatever else. And, you know, it's great storytelling, but it didn't happen. It was also that same time that Linda came in and, you know, it was a, it was a photo op, photo opportunity to, to, to show the Tao of, of, uh, of Jeet Kune Do, Bruce's book and say, I have good news for you, Bruce, and your, your book has been published, and it's wonderful. And the problem with that was the, 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 the book wasn't published until long after Bruce's death. And uh, I uh, personally think that kind of, of filmmaking is irresponsible. Um, I know that it was reported that what was in the, the Tao of Jeet Kune Do was, uh, was, was all the, the, that the source were those six black journals that Bruce had written in during his back injury. Well, when I was um, writing the Bruce Lee story with Linda, I, those six black journals were in the Bruce Lee room. They were in the, the office or the room, it was a large room with the file cabinets and everything else. And I can tell you when I first saw those, uh, those journals and I'd heard about them, I'd even seen them when I'd been around Bruce, and uh, I thought, my God, these are like the, the Dead Sea Scrolls. I mean, God only knows what's in those journals that are huge. They're like, each one of them was the size of a New York City phone book. I mean, they were, they were thick. And it didn't take me very long to sit down and start looking through them. And to be quite frank, they were about 90% blank pages. There wasn't much in them at all. I, mean, I could see where he started the first one, but he didn't, he didn't do much. That's not to say he, he couldn't have filled up those journals. He certainly could have. But uh, the information wasn't in those journals. Uh, the information that ended up in the Tao of Jeet Kune Do came from his, from his books, his 2200 uh, library books, <coughs> where he'd made notations in, in, the, uh, in the margins and so forth. I have my own, th there's a couple of ideas that I have about, about Bruce's back injury. One of them is a uh, is something that I'd forgotten about uh, until I had uh, listened to uh, uh, recently listened to Amy Sambo's uh, interview tapes, and that is that when when Bruce landed in San Francisco after he'd been there for a while and was traveling to either L.A. or something, uh, he was in an airport, the San Francisco airport, and he was uh, sleeping on one of the. Uh, the, the seating there. He was stretched out sleeping. I guess he was taking a late night flight or early morning, whatever. He was laying down sleeping. And uh, a couple of guys came up and kicked him. They kicked him in his back. Uh, apparently Bruce had offended uh, some people, probably in San Francisco Chinatown. And these guys just wailed on him. He was asleep, so they, they jumped him while he was sleeping, but they kicked him in the back. And, uh, and, and then, they, then they took off running. I don't know if Bruce ever knew who did that. Uh, and I, I seem to remember Dan and Asando telling me about that. I could be mistaken. But it seems that, 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 uh, that Danny and Asano mentioned that uh, years ago. But Amy uh, knew about it. And Lonnie, uh, Lonnie Koneko, who knew Bruce very, they were his, two of his closest friends in Seattle. They remember it. They remember Bruce talking about it. And uh, they wondered whether or not that was the beginning of his back injury. Uh, and it's possible. I mean, you get kicked in the back, uh, in that spine, that, that could at least start something that wouldn't be visible for a long time and could begin with muscle spasms. The other thing that comes to mind is that I, I've had back trouble for a long time. And... Um, it began um, about 10 years ago. I want to say 10 years ago, maybe a little bit longer than that. Started getting a lower back problem, and, and I'd have times when I would have a pinched nerve. 
I remember one night I, I was doing dishes. I was rinsing off some dishes in the kitchen and I suddenly felt like somebody took an ax and just hit me in the back with it. I, I, I literally fell and, <laughs> and that commercial, I fall and I can't get up, that was me. And I called my wife I, and she helped me. No, actually she wasn't home. And I actually crawled my way into the bedroom and, and, and pulled myself up on the bed and waited for her to come home to help me. It was awful. And eventually it worked its way out. But I've had this problem on the left side of my back for many years. And uh, I found out that a major part of my problem is I have a curved spine, which is the result, it's called scoliosis, which is the result of one leg being shorter than the other. And I know that Bruce Lee had, had one leg shorter than the other. You can even see it uh, in some of his photographs. For me, I first noticed it when this happened and my doctor said, well, you've got one leg shorter, my, shorter than the other. My chiropractor, when he first pointed that out, I went and looked back at some photographs of me, I could see it. I could see uh, in, a, in, a, in a photograph when I first got my black belt and you can see where, the, where my belt is rising up onto my right hip. It's, uh, it's you know, there's, that's because you know, that, that leg is, is, is longer than the, than the left. I then looked at some photographs of my father and I saw a photograph of him in his army, uh, one of his army uniforms, and his belt is doing the same thing. So I have a feeling that Bruce may have had a problem that he didn't know about that was, with, that, that was being created in his back, in the, in the energy in his back. A chiropractor would be better to explain this.